Hello everyone. Let's get started with today's thought. Smile and let everyone know that today you are a lot stronger than you were yesterday. So always keep smiling and become stronger than the previous day. Today we are going to discuss the topic water of crystallization. Here is the diagram in which experiment is shown. Copper sulphate crystals are taken into two different test tubes. In one test tube add some water and shake it. What is the color of solution formed? The crystals of blue vitriol that is copper sulphate dissolve in water. The solution which is formed is blue in color. Second test tube which contains copper sulphate crystals are heated on the low flame of burner and then observation is made. On heating, the blue color of crystals changes. The blue colored crystals turn into a white powder. What change did occur in the color of blue vitriol? The blue color has changed into white and the white powder has been formed and when the second test tube is cooled down and some water it, when it is added and the test tube is shaken what will be the observation on adding water the solution will regain its blue color and what is the exact reason behind this? Let us understand. Here is the reaction. Copper sulphate has 5 water molecules of crystallization. On heating, water molecules are lost. The color which was initially blue has changed into white after heating because water molecules are lost. Clear? On heating, the crystalline structure of blue vitriol that is copper sulphate broke down to form a colorless powder and water came out. This water was part of the crystal structure of blue vitriol. It is called water of crystallization. On adding water to the white powder, a solution was formed which had the same color as the solution in the first test tube. From this we come to know that no chemical change has occurred in the crystals of blue vitriol due to heating. Losing water on heating blue vitriol, breaking down of the crystal structure, losing blue color and regaining blue color on adding water are all physical changes. So what is the inference drawn from this experiment? That there is no chemical change occurred upon heating crystals of blue vitriol. The crystalline nature and color of blue vitriol are due to water of crystallization. On heating it loses water of crystallization and form white powder. Only physical changes such as losing water on heating blue vitriol, breaking down of the crystal structure losing blue color and regaining the color on adding water were observed. Is it clear to you? Watch this video in order to get the concept clearly. Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain you the concept of water of crystallization. Ionic compounds are crystalline in nature uh, and crystals are formed due to definite arrangement of ions. And in this definite arrangement of crystal structure, uh, sometimes water molecules are present and this is called as water of crystallization. 
copper sulfate is called as blue metal <coughs> copper sulfate has five water molecules of crystallization original color of copper sulfate is bluish now i am going to show you uh, when copper sulfate crystals are heated uh, colorless powder is formed because water molecules are evaporated when copper sulfate powder is dissolved in water blue color can be clearly seen i am taking copper sulfate crystals into boiling test tube now i am going to heat this with the help of flame of burner when copper sulfate is heated water molecules which are present in the crystal structure they evaporate crystal structure breaks down and blue color disappear and whitish powder is left slowly the color fades away it will take time i'm heating crystal of blue vitriol in the blue flame of the burner the color is fading away and now you can see white powder has been formed here white powder and original color of copper sulfate and this white powder both are clearly distinguishable yes so what had happened here water molecules which are present as a part of crystal structure of blue vitriol they evaporated and white powder is left after cooling after cooling this test tube boiling test tube if i add water into this original blue colored solution has been formed See, this is copper sulfate crystals. When when I added into plain water, the original color is like this. And when crystals of copper sulfate are heated, they change into white powder. And when I again water again added water into this, original color has been regained. So this change is called as physical change. No new substance is formed here. So. have you understood how what is meant by water of crystallization in blue vitriol there are five molecules of water of crystallization thank you i think everyone has understood the concept of water of crystallization second activity small stone of alum is taken into an evaporating dish and this dish is kept on tripod stand and it, it is heated with the help of burner so what is the observation here powdered form of the salt is seen in the evaporating dish children do you know alum 
alum uh, is used in a rainy season to uh, actually clean water means uh, mud if it is present means if the uh, water contains any impurities like uh, mud particles are there in rainy season um, alum is used to settle down all these impurities so when uh, alum is heated with the help of flame of burner powdered form of alum is left in the evaporating dish on heating alum loses its water of crystallization it froths and swells and this is called as puffed alum puffed alum actually alum has a formula potassium sulfate aluminum sulfate and 24 water molecules of crystallization are there in crystalline alum but when alum is heated water molecule of crystallization they are lost and the alum is remained in the form of powder form and it is called as puffed alum Ionic compounds are crystalline in nature. These crystals are formed as a result of definite arrangement of ions. In the crystal of some compounds, water molecules are also included in this arrangement. This is water of crystallization. The water of crystallization is present in a definite proportion of the chemical formula of compound. It is indicated in the chemical formula as shown below. Crystalline blue vitriol, copper sulphate has 5 water molecules of crystallization. Crystalline ferrous sulphate is called as green vitriol. It has molecular formula FeSO4, 7 water molecules of crystallization are there. Crystalline washing soda, Na2CO3, Na2CO3 and 10 water molecules of crystallization. Crystalline alum has formula K2SO4, Al2SO4 thrice, 24H2O. Crystalline substances contain water of crystallization. The molecules of water of crystallization are a part of internal arrangement of crystal. On heating or just by keeping, the water of crystallization is lost and the crystalline shape of that part is lost. Is it clear to you all? We will continue remaining part in next video.